Well, welcome back. I'm going to have a little surprise for you. I'm just going to start showing you a setup. Um, what I'm go going to show you is the difference between a full frame camera and um, an APS-C style camera. DX versus FX format for Nikon. And uh, what I'm going to show you is... On my uh, 55K monitor, QD OLED, the Samsung S95B, if you can tell the difference, uh, which is an APS-C and which is a full frame, and which one looks better. So, further ado, let me just show you around. What you're looking at me now in uh, this type of color, which I think is excellent, is the 85 millimeter f1.8 Nikkor the S line it's a fantastic prime it's one of my favorite primes of all time excellent I can move around the um, features a little bit I can make this a little bit bigger move right there so this is on the Z5 excellent um, hope you like the color rendition and stuff I do. And then if I go on to the Z62, uh oh, guess who's sleeping? Little Wanda. She was just fed and she's happy and now she's sleeping. And of course, go to the third one. Now, this is, well, let, let me go to the fourth one. Okay. So. Yeah, I meant to go this one. Sorry. Okay, so this is a an APS-C uh, camera two. This is my uh, original ZFC, but I like uh, unhooking it and then take it on travel. So this is what I use for mobile. I got the little grip on there. It's easier to handle. So I'll take photos and uh, stuff. So I'm going to be doing a lot of pictures today. And I'm going to compare it with the uh, Megadap ETZ11 adapter, which can uh, put Sony lenses onto Nikon cameras. And it has autofocus too. So I'll be working with those, but that's for later. So back to uh, the monitor. So this is the wide view shot of the ZFC. Uh, this is my other ZFC, one that will stay in the studio from now on. So, it's straight up shot. Here's the zoom. So that way you get a full screen. And then, if you go to, if I get it right, this is the full screen on the um, full frame Z7 II. So what I'm going to do, and I thought I had it pretty good. Looks like I have to lower it a little bit. There we go. That should do it. Hopefully. Ah! Let's see if that does it. Yeah, that's, yeah, there we go, it's creeping again. Well, that's what you get when you get a bad uh, uh, stand. So anyhow, let me try one more time. Let's stay. I think by Joe, we got it. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is boot up a, a game. Yeah, the command. So, you see, you're looking at it right now. So, what I'm going to do is put it in uh, live mode. And now you should see it. I'm sorry, you should see it. Okay. 
I don't have to put it in live mode. Excellent. So I'm going to boot up Tomb Raider, okay? Our favorite game, do Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Now, this is uh, with all the bells and whistles. I've shown you enough of the um, benchmarks that you know this is fast. So right now, I got it on HDR, but I have no BRR, and I put it back to 120 hertz because it runs better. So anyway, I'll just continue, and I'll just move around, show you different things. Pretty good, doesn't it? So now I'm going to switch over. To the ZFC. So you can see the monitor. But now I'm going to put it, expand it. So, does she look better? So this is an APS-C DX style view of Tomb Raider on this wonderful QD OLED Samsung S95B monitor. Look at the colors. I'm running at 145, 146 right now. FPS, 4K all the way. The great refresh monitor. It's not running at 60 hertz like it would on a Mac. This is a PC. It's a, a R9 3900X. AMD Ryzen. Uh, it has uh, 32 gigs of RAM, but it's uh, 36 megahertz DDR4. Uh, one to one ratio. It also has the uh, RTX NVIDIA 3080 Ti. So there's no holding this game back. So right now, you're looking at the, I believe it's the ZFC with the 35 millimeter. No, it's the 20 millimeter F1.8. It's the S line. 
excellent lens, wide field of view. So you get the smaller camera, you get the wide field of view, and you, then you can use InCam Live to enhance it, make it bigger. And then if I go to the Z7, can you tell the difference? Looks like it's just a little bit more bright, but I, I have to go into settings right there. So you see, it looks better on the ZFC because of the color. But I go to the Z7 II and tweak the settings. So it's at F2. I don't know if I can change it. Okay. So now I'm changing a little bit. But you see, by changing that, you can see more of a distortion. So if I go back to F2, there we go. Well, maybe I should change the ISO. Okay, so I have it on aperture. Let's try it shutter speed. That's 3.5. Is that better? No. You still see the uh, more. There's priority. Or I should say program. So let's go to automatic. Now automatic kind of fixes it, but look at that. Still getting more. Oh, anyway, that's just a thought. I'll leave it on automatic for the Z7 II. It's more of a picture tape, but it, it looks good. So let's move her around. You don't see the water dripping on her. You can see a better view of her right here in the dark. She looks pretty good, but it's bright with ink cam, but it looks dark on the screen. So I don't have the settings correctly or the camera's not doing it right. And I have it on automatic. That's why you always mess with it. So if I go back to the ZFC, it's almost the same. But does she look better? So that's the ZFC, and let me get it down one more. Oh, wrong one, sorry. Yeah. Let me mess with the... Uh... There we go, how's that? So that's almost the same. Look, I go with the Z7. Yeah. 
Okay, it's messing up. Is back on uh, at aperture. Okay, let's see if this goes back now. Yeah, I messed up my settings just by changing it. So if I turn it off, see if that fixes the problem. May or may not. No, it did not. I have to leave Ecamm. But anyway, let's go back to uh, the ZFC. There we go. Let's continue on. I'm going to go... to the sun. Let me go back here. All right, she just took blue blown out. I don't know if I can change all that. Yeah, leave that there. And then I'll just go to uh, the compensation. And I should have done it that way. That's one. That's almost good. I think two would be too much. That might. That might be better. But anyway, that's the game. So now I'm going to hit escape. Escape menu. Yes. Okay, um, I can go here, go to my, um, yeah. go there, this is LG G6. Just to show you. So this is the Z7. So there's a black bar on the top and, and bottom. That's because it's micro four thirds, but it looks excellent. I could up. Uh, Okay, that's minus one. Let me put it at zero. Okay, that brightened up a little bit, but that's the way you're seeing it. So in games, I can probably put it down a little bit. And then if I go to my ZFC, there you go. So can you tell the difference? If I pause it right here, now let's compare it. Full frame. And uh, sorry about the screen.
right anyway there's full frame there's APSC so there's a little crop in that APC APSC uh, one is a 40 millimeter a 35 millimeter becomes like a 42 so they're about the same um, just that uh, looks a little bit better but I can expand it where I can't do it until I messed up the settings on the uh, Z7 but anyway that's the difference so now I am going to close this close that and I'm going to switch to a different uh, uh, computer. And the way I do that is home, that, that, connected devices. And I got to do this. There we go. So now, and you see it's at 60 hertz. There's no HDR with Intel uh, Mac Mini 2018, but it has 64 gigs of RAM. And um, I don't care about that. Yeah, well, that's something else. So, um, this, I'll go to YouTube. I'll go to my uh, channel dashboard. I'll go into my content. Let's look at the last one I did. Uh, Got to go to playlist. Sorry. That way I can get a 4K. So let's see. I think it's in computers. And again, it may be in gear. Yeah, it's probably in gear. Uh, come back here. All right. Playlist. Gear. That's not there either. Ah, that would be in gear. Maybe studio setup. No, oh, maybe not. Okay. That's not there either. Well, sorry, folks. Content. Okay, so. I can't remember where I put this. There, there. Nikon. Let's go here. Let's just scroll down. There it is, right there. All right, I'm back. Um, I'm going to be showing you something. Um, so anyway, I'm going to close that up. I'm going to move it around a little bit. All right, here we go.
Okay, you can't see anything now. Because the Z7 went to sleep. There it is. Full frame. So she looks pretty good on full frame. Now, if I go to the ZFC, the next picture, there you go. And then of course, let me get off of that. So this is the uh, DX APS-C. This is the full thing. So you see, it's uh, this is what it truly looks like. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. There we go. The next there he goes. So there's the full frame. So anyhow, let me stop this. This is just on the YouTube folks. So I'll quit there. There's a monitor. CFC. Full frame. I think the ZFC does a fantastic job. And it could be the lens. Um, I could put the 35 millimeter on the um, on this one too. And you might have different effects. But I just try to do a comparison. So I'm going to end this video right here. Um, this is just my thought. You can make different cameras, no matter what size you have, work for you. Do you need a full frame? Can you run it on APS-C? What about a micro four thirds? You know that uh, Lumix GX6 looks good and it has the focus okay, but not that great. Um, I switched out my Sony A6100 for another ZFC because then you don't see the lines going on the uh, TV monitor. And plus, uh, it's much easier to work with the ZFC than the Sony. And um, I don't know. So you see, this is his, uh, Z5, Z62. That's the uh, first, well, this is the new ZFC. I picked up. So this is my third ZFC. Uh, the second one I gave to Peter. Uh, Peter Gregg in the Christmas room live in Miami, Florida. And then uh, of course this is the uh, third ZFC right here. Um, that might be a better view. But I have a different set of lens on here also. So anyhow, uh, I can go to the reset on this one. There we go. That's almost like the same color. And all I have to do is get the saturation down. No, oh, that's not too bad. And then you can compare that to um, set five. 
there we go. So you see, it's almost the same. Only it brings in more light. You have a little bit more color with the uh, this one. I can do that too. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I could leave it right there. Looks the same. Yep. I gotta get me square in the picture. And I should focus it, but uh, I just thought I'd try this position. Usually it's looking at the computer or something. But uh, anyway, you can move these cameras around. Excuse me. And uh, just point it. Very easy. No, I've got all the wires put out of the way, protected, so the animals don't affect it. I can move my microphone closer, you know, across the room. I have a USB extender. So, anyhow, um, let me move this camera right here. So, if I go to, no, oh, wrong one, wrong one. There we go. That one right there. Watch this. So I'm gonna move this like this. And I'm gonna move it down. Now you should see the two. Okay. So this is a different shot. This was on a computer, so I'm just to the side. And watch what happens. Move it down, and there they are. Now, what I'm going to do is focus it. Very important. And it's on automatic. Why is it not focusing? There we go. Z7 II, a new ZFC, ZFC number three. So I hope this uh, video was helpful. Um, if you like it, please give me a like. Um, please subscribe. Please write a comment of what you think of the setup. Uh, I like it. Um, I have to play with the Z7. Z7 is not really a, a video type camera. It's uh, my workhorse where I take videos, but mainly pictures with. It's a 45 megapixel uh, camera. But the ZFC, one right next to it, is a darn uh, portable camera. And also the Z50. So I got the Z50 too. And it takes just about the same type of pictures of the ZFC. But the ZFC has a little bit more to it. Because it has, I haven't had an upgrade to it yet. Um, it came out, when I bought them, they already had the latest firmware version 1.2. So I've upgraded the Z50. And the nice thing about the Z50 is when I have to upgrade firmware, I can use the Z50 or the Z5, but basically the Z50 to use it. That's why I hold on to it. So with uh, firmware upgrades with the, uh, the lens, you download it, you use the Z50, and it updates the lens. So it'll work on other cameras. That's something that a lot of people don't tell you about. Uh, if you had the original Z6 or Z7, ah, see, this is my camera, it's too hot. So let me go here. So see, the Z5 went hot too. And that's not the one I wanted. I have to go back to me.
and there I am okay so anyway I'm gonna end this video on me a little bit out of focus and I could bring it back all the way to the original there we go and what I can do go back here That might be in focus now. Okay. That's a little bit better. So I'll end this video this way. Just remember, stay safe, keep smiling, and until next time, goodbye. And I hope this video was helpful.